So one of the things we've been noticing uh, with the salmon is that their size is decreasing a little bit. Well, that's too bad. That can't be good for the derby. No, and, and we're trying to figure out why. And one of the things we think is that it's related to their food and how much of it's available. Oh, like what? Um, so there's this little thing. It's called a pteropod. <laughs> Have you ever heard of that before? Never. So it's like a snail. Snails crawl around on the bottom. Pteropods mm -hmm. swim around um, with the foot that a normal snail would crawl oh, around cool. on the bottom with. Um, and we call them the potato chips of the sea. Salmon really like to eat them. It's like you can't have just one. Absolutely. Um, so they eat them and they get really fat. And so that's really what causes the big, nice salmon that you want to catch during that derby time. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're seeing is that the pteropods are having a hard time building their shells. Um, and we think that's related to ocean acidification. Have you ever heard of that before? I've heard of it, but I don't, I don't really get it. Yeah. So. Can I take a little time yeah, and explain that to you? To, yes. So um, basically, we are having an increase of CO2 in the atmosphere, carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. And as we burn coal and oil and natural gas, the waste product is carbon dioxide. It goes up in the air, mm -hmm. and every place the air touches the water, it gets mm -hmm. into the ocean. And that's um, increasing the acidity of the water, and that's ocean acidification. Now, we experience acidity as like sourness. Mm -hmm. So have you had lemonade? Of course. Yeah, and do you like it sweet or sour? A little on the sweet side. Yeah, so generally that increase in acidity makes it a little bit more sour. And if it's too sour, it's just, it's not good. And you can imagine if you're living in kind of a souring ocean, a more acidic ocean, that probably wouldn't be the most fun thing. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so these little pteropods, um, it affects their ability to grow their shells. Um, so they are those snails and they, they're growing that shell and if they can't do it um, the way they need to, it just, they're not going to survive. They're, they may oh. be here and right now, may, you know, maybe it's easier for the salmon to eat them right in this minute, but they're not going to reproduce for generations. So there's going to be fewer and fewer pteropods, which means less food available for the salmon, which means smaller salmon in the long run. Oh, too yeah. bad. Yeah, not good for the derby. No, not very much. <laughs>